Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be completely refreshing my everyday vanity. Now I'm actually starting this video away from my everyday vanity, which is at my house. I am currently sitting in my office. Now my makeup collection and how I actually store it is definitely not the norm. Um, because I have an office, I would say like 80% of my makeup lives here, probably even more, like 90% of my makeup lives here. And then I have 10% of my makeup that's at home in my everyday vanity. It's not the most convenient thing in the world because there's a lot of times where I wish that I had a product with me when I'm at home, but it's just the reality of how I set things up. And so I basically shop my collection at my office every once in a while, bring it back home, and then completely refresh my vanity. Now I haven't filmed this process in a really, really long time. I think the last real vanity refresh video that I did was like four years ago. So that is what we're going to be doing today. If you guys are gonna enjoy watching the process, let me know all of your thoughts in the comments and hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And without further ado, let's just get started. So I'm just gonna go drawer by drawer and just pick the things that really catch my eye. The one thing that I always am upset that I don't have at my house is the House Labs foundation. This is my go-to going out foundation. It is so long wearing. It looks so good on the skin always. The Slay, the Slay? The Say Glowy Super Skin Foundation is my favorite foundation to wear whenever I come here. I actually have multiple shades of this, so I'm gonna bring one home and keep one here. I'm also gonna bring the NARS Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. I haven't used this in a while, and it's one of my favorites. I feel like I could go on and on, but I'm gonna stop it there for skin tints foundations. Now for concealers. I'm definitely gonna bring one of my NARS Soft Matte Concealers. I'm honestly shocked and concerned, frankly, that I don't have one of these at my house because they're really one of my favorites to wear, especially in the summertime because they're pretty matte so they don't slip and slide on the face. Good for very, very sweaty days. And you know what? I'm also gonna bring the LYS concealer. Okay, let's move on to the next drawer. So this drawer has like primers and liquid illuminators and stuff like that. So I think I wanna bring the Grown Alchemist Anti-Pollution Primer. I've been very curious about this. So we are going to try that one out finally. I actually know that I have pretty much no liquid highlighters at my house. So I'm gonna bring my Kosas Glow IV because this is beautiful as just a cheek highlighter. I don't like using it all over my face though, but just as a pinpointed cheek highlighter, it's really, really nice. Moving into the next drawer. I am definitely gonna bring over my Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand, NARS Cream Bronzer in Laguna. I just wore this to a wedding and really love the way it looks, so I definitely wanna bring that home. Now going into blushes, I'm gonna bring home Beach Babe from Nude Sticks, the Dior Backstage Blush in Rosy Glow. I need to remind myself not to bring too much product because because I still have product obviously at my house that I'm gonna wanna keep and also not keep. So just trying to not go overboard right now. But as I say that, I'm also gonna take this Gucci blush in the shade Warm Berry. This was like one of my go-tos from maybe like a month or two ago. Um, but then I put it back in my collection so that I would stop using it so much because sometimes I need to force myself to like use and try other products, but I miss it, so. For setting powders, right now I pretty much only have Kosas Cloud Set at home that I know. I'm really boring when it comes to my powders. I pretty much only go between the Charlotte Tilbury powder or the Kosas one. And I think I'm just gonna bring the Charlotte Tilbury one back home because I actually have two here, so I might as well have an extra one there. And I'm also gonna bring home this little setting spray. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It is very, very good for locking in makeup. Oh, you know what? Or should I bring the Rare Beauty one? Because they're both good. Oh, I'm just gonna bring both, why not? Drunk Elephant V Bronzy, I've been missing this. I think I bought this maybe at the end of last summer and I really haven't gotten a lot of use of it. It's the Chanel Le Beige Eau de Blush. Very expensive, I think I've used it twice, so that needs to get more use. Up here, this is where I keep all of like my brow stuff, liquid eyeshadows, eye bases, stuff like that. I definitely do not have a lot of eyeshadow products at home, so I would like to refresh that part of my collection quite a bit because I'm getting a little bit bored with what I do have. Ooh, this one's really pretty. This is a Charlotte Tilbury Hypnotizing Pop Shot in the shade Rose Gold, which is a really beautiful metallic. I'm also gonna bring home Groundwork from MAC. This is a paint pot. It's just a really great taupey color, really beautiful to put just all over the lid for day to day. I actually feel like this would be a really good product just to have in my day to day collection. This is a cake liner from Laura Mercier in Ebony Black. Definitely need a brown eyeliner. This is the Pillow Talk eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury. These are really fun. These are the new eyeliners from, from Natasha Denona. They're the Macro Tech Eye Crayons. This is a really bright yellow shade. I kind of want to bring it just to perhaps have some fun with it. I'll probably honestly use it once, but why not? I'm going to try out this liquid eyeliner. I haven't tried it before. It's from Colleen Rothschild. Uh, it's the Precision Liquid Eyeliner in Jet Black. 
For brow stuff, there's a couple brow products that I had in mind. I wanted to bring over my Anastasia Brow Freeze and the Kush Brow Lamination from Milk and a Kosas Air Brow in Auburn. A MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour eye base. I actually don't have any eye primers at home, so this is a must. And then for mascara, definitely taking my Tower 28 Make Waves. I'm also gonna bring this Clarence Intense Brow Mascara. I tried this recently. It's a beautiful brow mascara. I've been looking for a really good brow mascara. This one is really beautiful. And I'm also gonna take this MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara as well. It's really good for the lower lashes. Okay, I got some new lip products here from Kosas and MAC and Charlotte Tilbury that I had just unpackaged. And I wanna bring some of these Kosas lipsticks with me. This looks like a beautiful shade. This is called Daydream. And then I'm also going to take the wet gloss in unbuttoned. Looks pretty. Haven't tried that one. Now I'm going to dig through my lip collection now and I'll show you guys the ones that I choose once we actually get to organizing. All right. I am home. My vanity is right over here. Let me give you guys a very unfiltered look of what it looks like right now. I have not even tried to make it look better than it is. It's in a little bit of a state, but it's okay. We're going to fix that. So here's what the top of the vanity is looking like right now. I'm very excited to clear all of this off. I even have my birthday cards here, which is very cute, but I think they've had their moment. They are now ready to be moved elsewhere off of the vanity. Here's what things are looking like inside of the drawers. It's pretty much not organized at all. Just all the products are thrown wherever. I think all the products that I brought, honestly, probably will not be able to fit, but we're gonna probably curate it just a little bit more and hopefully get it to work. So this vanity space has definitely been somewhat neglected over the last year since moving into my new house. And it's been neglected in the sense where I haven't really taken the time to figure out how to properly organize it and to optimize the space as best as I could. And that's because we've always had the plan to renovate this bedroom where my vanity is and I always plan on getting a new vanity and so I just always thought of this as kind of like a temporary solution and so I feel like I'm in a bit of a limbo space because this vanity is definitely not big enough Oh my god. <laughs> and I would really love to get something new but I also don't want to invest in anything too soon because I feel like I'll have a better idea of what I actually should get once we start renovating the bedroom so in the meantime I just need to make this space as optimized as it could be first things first Let's clear everything off of the top of the vanity and then I'm going to go into the drawers and start separating the products that I want to keep here and the products that I'm actually going to bring back to my office. All the products I don't want to keep in this bin right over here. These are the products I'm keeping. These are the products that I'm going to be bringing back to my office. These bins are revolting. <laughs> we need to wash them right now. I think the next logical step is to separate all the products that I wanna keep plus the products that I brought into different categories and then possibly refine from there because I think there's just too much anyway. <laughs> so I'm gonna separate it into face, eye, and cheek. Okay, it looks like a mess, but it is actually organized into different categories here. So let's start off first with the face bin because I definitely think there's some products that we can cut here. Just going to <laughs> make some room. <laughs> this is such a mess. For foundations, I'm definitely going to be keeping the Say Glowy Super Skin Foundation, the House Lattice Foundation for sure. The Chanel Le Beige has been probably my most worn foundation of the summer so far. I'm obsessed with this, so that is definitely going to be staying in here. And then I'm also going to keep the Tinted Moisturizer from NARS. For concealers, um... I kind of want to keep all of these, honestly, because I feel like they all kind of do different things. The Glowish Bright Light is great for a lightweight day. The Say Concealer is like one step above the Glowish. The Elia is pretty much like one step above the Say. 
And then these are my two full coverage concealers, the Dior and the Huda Beauty. I love both of these so much. And then we have the NARS Soft Matte Concealer, which I am gonna be keeping too. You know what, I'm gonna switch out the Elia one for this LYS one because I've been using the Elia one pretty much every single day and I haven't used this one in a really long time. Junk Elephant D Bronzy, Kosas Glow IV, Charlotte Tilbury Powder and the Kosas Powder. The Tula Filter Primer, I'm actually almost finished this. And the Grown Alchemist one honestly just will not fit in this little bin. And I'm just gonna bring this one back to the office. So this is the base bin. Fits really nicely actually. Now let's do cheeks. We got lots of Nude 6 blushes. Sunkiss, Conte, Sunkissed Pink, Beach Babe. Still loving this Janessa Myricks Yummy Blush in the shade Jubilee. It's probably one of my most worn of the summer so far. The Chanel Blush, Rare Beauty Virtue, Rare Beauty Hope. I also popped in this Fenty Blush that's part of their summer collection. I just thought it was really interesting. It's like a pH balancing blush. Kind of want to try it out. Looks like a really nice cool tone pink. Dior Backstage. Makeup by Mario. Skin Enhancer, obviously. NARS Laguna. Makeup by Mario Powder Bronzer. Gucci Powder Bronzer. And then I'm gonna keep just this Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Light Wand. This is the highlighter. Beautiful. That actually looks very, very nice. All right, now let's do eyes. Got all these mascaras. Elia, Tower 28 Make Waves, the Clarins Brown Mascara, and MAC Giga Black Lash. This Rowan eyeshadow palette is one of my like all-time favorites. It's the Mood Forever. I use these two shades all the time to make my lids look really nice and glossy. Same thing with this M Cosmetics shade. I've had this in my vanity forever. It's in the shade Moonrise. It's the Aura eyeshadows. They're so beautiful. The Charlotte Tilbury. Or Mercier, the MAC Pink Pot. These are the brow products, the Anastasia Brow Powder in Auburn, Anastasia Brow Freeze. Milk Brow Lamination, Kosas Air Brow. All the eyeliners, we have the brown from Charlotte Tilbury, brown and black from Makeup by Mario, brown liquid from Glossier, black liquid from Colleen Rothschild, and this fun color from Natasha Denona. I'm actually going to not keep the Makeup by Mario liquid eyeliner in here because it always smudges on me. Two Laura Mercier eyeshadow sticks in Cocoa and in Metallic Taupe, two of my favorites. MAC Extended Eye Base. All right, for the lips, I feel like this changes often because I constantly bring lip products in and out, but these are the ones I'm gonna keep in here for now. So we have the Kosas Lip Gloss and the new Kosas Lipstick in the shade Daydream. Really pretty. This is one of my favorite day-to-day -day colors right now, the Huda Beauty Lip Blush in the shade Coral Kiss. I was actually wearing that today. Always love to keep a red on hand. This is the Rare Beauty Lip Souffle in Inspire. Summer Friday's Lip Butter Balm, Poppy. MAC Powder Kiss in Brick Through. I've never worn this one, but I just came across it in my collection. It just looks like such a pretty color. Iconic London Melting Lip Balm in the shade Love Language, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. Really glossy. Rare Beauty Serenity Tinted Lip Oil. Grown Alchemist Lip Balm. This is a super sparkly gloss from Lights Locker. It's in the shade Das Suspensive. Limitless Brown from Makeup Forever for the liner. And this is actually an eczema balm. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it in here. The Rouge Volupte Candy Glaze Lipstick in 08. I love just dabbing this on my lips. It's a really, really pretty, kind of like rusty red. And Merit Lip Oil and Taupe. For my tools, we've got scissors, lash curlers, mini scissors, sharpener, and a little hair clip. And then the three setting sprays that I'm going to be keeping on my vanity. Calorie Surf Proof, this has been my go-to. The Rare Beauty one, and then the Charlotte Tilbury one too. Lovely, that's actually perfect. We are not done yet. I don't just do my makeup and my vanity, I also do my hair. And so I like to have some hair products with me at the ready. So I'm gonna pull some of my favorite hair products to keep with me so that I am able to grab them easily when I do my hair. But first, I actually have a little trolley that I used to keep next to my vanity, but when I got Gus, 
I moved it away because I didn't want him to get into it. But now that I know he won't, I'm gonna bring it back and I'm going to organize products on there, which is going to free up a lot of space. Okay, so for the hair products that I'm gonna be keeping in here, the Orbe Super Shine Moisturizing Cream is like one of my all-time favorite. Orbe Royal Blowout Heat Styling Spray. Carousel Flat Iron Spray. Carousel Anti-Frizz. Another Blowout Cream from Carousel. JVN Blowout Styling Milk. Sasha Wan Hairspray, Orbe Dry Texturizer Spray, Kerasas Spray Porte, the Shine Top Coat from L'Oreal. And that's pretty much it for hair products. I'm also gonna put my hairbrush, my smoothing brush, and my Denman brush. Oh, last but not least, Orbe Airstyle. Nice and air straight. My straightener, T3 curling iron, other barrel that I use. The Dyson blow dryer, my air wrap, diffuser, and misused attachments. This is so much better. Everything looks so neat and so clean. Oh, almost forgot this. It's a Gus's water bowl. There we go. This trolley was a mess. I don't know why it took me so long to put it back because it's really the only way for me to properly organize all of my hair tools. Let's take a final look inside the drawers. So again, the base products, the cheek products. I did end up throwing in my whole bronzer. It doesn't fit over here, unfortunately, so I just put it over here. That's fine though. Um, so we have the high products plus hula bronzer, lip products, and then the tools in the back. I also am throwing in this little day cream from Grown Alchemist in here. And there she is reorganized, decluttered, refreshed, and so much better. The last thing I have to do is clean all of these brushes, which I'll do off camera because it's pretty boring to watch. But I promise you, I will actually do it. And also take this as a reminder yourself, if you haven't cleaned your brushes in a while, definitely uh, go ahead and do that. Know what I didn't even consider doing? Making it look pretty. Let me get a candle. Okay, I actually just got this candle yesterday. Oh my God, it smells like actual heaven. If you like Baccarat Rouge, this candle from Salt and Stone, it's saffron and cedar. It smells exactly like it. Every time I smell it, it just sends waves of happiness throughout my body. <laughs> Should we put it right in the corner over here? Cute. <laughs> it's like the only decorative thing in this space. In an ideal world, I would have a giant mirror on this wall, more decor, things to make it look more, you know, nice and my style, but that will come in time. For now, I am very pleased with this very organized and clean vanity. So guys, that is it for my little vanity refresh. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to let me know all of your thoughts in the comments and hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.